Hello Mallards. I've decided that I'm going to stop saying what day it is because I'm building a backlog of videos. So the day that you see this will not be the day that I made it. So hello Mallards, it's October and I am ready to go to another haunt. I'm in Leesburg at the Melon Patch Players Theater where they have an asylum haunt, which has come highly recommended. And I am pretty stoked to head in and see what it's all about. I've seen shows here at Melon Patch Theater a couple of different times, but I'm super excited to experience a haunt. I'm getting fresh made cotton candy and flavored just for me. Cinnamon cotton candy. Ooh. Oh, that's really good. It looks like sorcery. Like, where does that even come from? It's magic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's so cool. The time has come. I'm about to go in. Uh, very excited. I guess I didn't tell you the story. So I am here at the Kim Institute for the Criminally Insane, where Dr. Matthew Toboggan has been running experiments because once upon a time, one of his patients uh, killed his wife and daughter, which was unfortunate and made him go crazy. And in true male fashion, he decided to take it out on everybody else and created an area known as Unit 81, where there are some concerning patients who may or may not be human anymore. And everyone lives in fear that they will escape. Spoiler alert, it's happening right now, tonight, while I'm here. No video inside the haunt, so once I go in, uh, I will just enjoy the experience and I'll tell you about it when I'm done. I just finished going through the asylum haunt here at Melon Patch Theater. Uh, they run this weekend, uh, actually, I think it's maybe just Fridays and Saturdays, so I don't think that they run tomorrow, but they do run next Friday and Saturday. And if you are nearby, you should go. This was so good. I had an absolutely incredible time going through this house. Like, it was super fun, very engaging. The scare actors are having a blast. The asylum theme works really well. What they've built out is really cool. Like. I really did a lot of traversing a lot of interesting places in this. There are levels, a lot of like ups and downs and small passageways and big spaces. Like it's a very varied setup and a lot of really interesting characters and interesting scares and interactions. I had so much fun, like so much fun. I actually kind of regret not getting the $25 go twice express pass thing because I think I would go again. I had that much fun. Uh, going through alone, 10 out of 10 would recommend, but I also think that this would be equally enjoyable if you're going in a little group of friends because it's just plain entertaining and delightful. <sighs> I was tired before I came here and now I am amped partially sugar from homespun cotton candy also get that really good uh and then mostly from this haunt i can tell that a lot of care and love has been put into this and i i was very impressed by it i had so much fun <sighs> all right and now i'm gonna head home but yeah check it out i'll put a link down there and i'll see you tomorrow